Usually, we don't think it's important to talk about gender and rice in Latin America because women don't contribute to the production of this crop. It is said that they are not rice farmers because they don't make the decisions on how to plant, what variety to use, what fertilizers, herbicides, and pesticides to apply, or what harvesting methods to use. But three socioeconomic studies on rice in Peru, Bolivia, and Ecuador show that women do contribute to rice production. In Peru, 55.4% of households using family labor say that women are involved in production and post-production activity. In Bolivia, this percentage is 44.4%. They participate in specific agricultural activities. In Bolivia, in soil preparation, harvesting, and post-production activities, especially those involving manual labor. In Peru, in soil preparation, weed control, and control of pests and diseases. In Ecuador, women contribute in the supervision of labor and machinery and the purchase of agricultural inputs. In some households, women make decisions about their own crops and they can even be owners of rice fields. The active participation of women in rice production is confirmed by both women and men. When we have to fumigate or fertilize, I leave at 6.30 in the morning and I walk for about an hour. When I ask my wife to go harvest rice, she uses the combine harvester. She oversees the machine. However, there is gender inequality in access to services, resources, technologies, and programs aimed at improving rice production. For example, fewer women than men receive extension services. In Peru, of all the farmers who received rice extension services, only 6% were women. Fewer women are given credit for rice production. In Peru, only 10% of the farmers receiving loans were women. And in Bolivia, most members of organizations, associations, and agricultural cooperatives are men. These gender issues might also contribute to a yield gap between men and women farmers. In Peru, fields managed by women have four and a half percent less performance than fields managed by men. Women are not recognized as producers and often don't see themselves as such. In order to improve rice production, especially on small family farms, it is important to include gender issues. In order to do so, we should document sex disaggregated data. For example, collect information on the sex of the respondent in the surveys. Gather information from both women and men. Collect information about women and men. For example, such as who contributes to which agricultural activity, who makes which decisions on each of these activities, who owns which production asset, and who has access to which resources and services. Identify the differences in access to and control over resources, the power to make decisions in production issues and in social and economic gender gaps. Secondly, have an inclusive definition of who is a farmer. Consider more than one producer in the household and that in the household there may be more than one person making decisions about the rice fields. Next, design and implement technologies, programs, and policies that are accessible to both men and women. Using these steps, we can contribute to increased productivity of the rice sector in Latin America by closing gender gaps and increasing the yield of fields where both women and men make decisions.